Congratulations on your win. Thank you. Congratulations, congratulations on your two win, and also you gained the sole position of number one spot in the PUG standings. How are you feeling, Chovy? I got back to back PUG tonight. I'm in the first place right now. Feels feels nice. <laughs> Chovy, game number one. We saw a pocket pick from you. Mid Atrox after more than 300 days, especially taking the rune predator. So could you elaborate that pick and your rune choice? I think Aatrox looked really good with Straight Breaker in solo queue. So I tried it for a couple of times. I think if you pilot it well in mid lane, I think it's really good if you can play 50-50 in lane. And once you complete your Straight Breaker, I think it gets super fat. And then, which also means that if I can just stay 50-50, it also opens up more space for a top laner. So it's really good for your team as well. What about the Predator Rune? Aatrox, um, you know, he's, he has a lot of rune that he to take over there. But it's really hard to get the um, Electrocute proc, so I just wanted to take the Predator and make a lot of room around the map. How did you feel after getting it banned away in game number two? I never saw it coming, to be honest. There are a lot of target bans towards Sylvie, especially about the AD picks, but you are always coming up with new stuff. For example, like Williamid, Cinderella, Slime, Cyan, Rek'Sai Jungle. So Hana Life, I think these days, are trying a lot of new experiments. It's really entertaining to watch, but at the same time, as a fan, we are really, you know, worried in a good way. What is the reason behind the new picks and comps we are trying new things and i think that's really i'm really positive about it because you need something new in order to make a process you know you, in order to develop you have to keep trying new things is there any other pocket picks left from hana life with sports any teasers for us? <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are some left in store of Hana Life Esports, but in game number one, Jinx and Thrash actually died four times combined. How did Hana Life see the whole situation? Did you guys think that you guys were behind? Uh, down on the bottom lane, we had some bad, bad accidents, so we wanted to play around the top side of the map. However, Hana Life Esports was able to turn around at the bottom lane. But moving on to game number two, you played Victor. Last time you played Syndra, and this time you played Victor, and you both build actually Everfrost with that mage champions. So, could you tell us about the Everfrost build? I think Everfrost has a very good, nice stats um, in the vacuum. That item is really good, and that active skill is also really strong. And for Victor, um, Africa Freaks in game number two had a very short range, and they had to dive onto us. So I wanted to counter their actions with that item. Game number two, Africa Freaks had Nidalee Jungle and Seth mid, which kind of tells us that they will be playing around the mid lane, but still you were able to farm up a lot of CS. Because it was Nidalee and Seth, I knew that they were going to play around mid lane, so I didn't went in for a trade. I just wanted to farm in a safe spot. I just wanted to absorb the Ganks coming out from the opponents. So that's why that's maybe why I had higher CS number compared to other games. And Africa Freaks was looking for a bottom turret dive, but it would Udir grouped up in order to kind of contest for that play. So when was the moment that Hana Life was aware of that play coming up? Lily came to the mid lane and she was helping Seth pushing the lane and we saw Seth rotating to the bottom lane, so we knew that they were gonna go for a dive, so we wanted to um, stop them from pulling him off. 
And I heard you are good friends with Johan, and he's been, you know, ramping up together with you. So how is playing together with him on the same team? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's just funny, you know. Yeah, it kind of feels awkward to be like playing together with your close friend. I can tell. Is it more comparable to have a friend on your team, or do you guys argue more? Well, yeah, I'm feeling a lot, uh, slightly more comfortable because he's my friend. Your next opponent will be Leaf Senbuff. They were able to take you down in the first round, Robin. Are we gonna get, how are we gonna get to revenge? I think Leaf Sandbox, they can show some high highs. I think they have a huge potential, so we won't get caught off guard. And we will prepare our really hard and do our best for that upcoming series. And this will be the inter end of the interview from Chobi from Hana Life Esports. And I'm going to pass it back to our casters. Thank you.